So, you want to get started with using particles in your Minecraft world? Well, you've come to the right place. Because in today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the basics of particle effects and what you can do with them. Spoilers, it's a lot. Particle effects can make your world look so much cooler and give more life to your world in general, but you probably already know that, so let's get into it. So before I go over some of my favorite effects, we're gonna start by actually just getting the basics of the command right. Now for most of your particle effects, you're probably gonna be using a repeat command with a certain delay in ticks. Let's put in this case a 20 delay in ticks. So every second it is going to execute a particle effect and we're gonna also have the needs redstone. So to start off, you're gonna type in slash particle. Now after this, you're gonna type in the string of the particle. Now I've left a link to a great website, digminecraft.com. It has every single particle effect in the game, so you can check out your favorite ones if you want to. But in this case, we're gonna be going with something like, let's do a Minecraft bleach effect. So you're just gonna paste that in. So po slash particle, Minecraft, and then the colon bleach. The way that particles work is they use the Minecraft and then the colon afterwards. And after that, you're gonna be typing in certain coordinates. So let's say I, would wa I wanted it to be... So, you know, let's place a golden block here, for example, and then we'll do 314. So we'll write that in here. So 314, and then we'll just keep in mind that it's about minus 59. And so now, after you've got the coordinates done, once you hit the lever, you will see that you will have a particle effect playing every second. Now, of course, you can choose this. You can do stuff like, you know, if we set it to zero delay in ticks and then we do it, you can see it's got to come a bunch of these at once. So those are the basics to the actual particle command. It's actually not that complicated of a command. Most people just struggle with getting the correct name for them. Now, of course, in the game, there are tons of cool different ones, but I'm going to show you some of the examples right here. Now, if you don't want to see all these, then you can just skip to the end and uh, there will be a timestamp right up here or in the description. But starting off, we've got the Minecraft Arrow Spell Emitter, which is this one right here, which gives a pretty cool, like, bubble effect in general. Now, I've tried to make these effects as beginner-friendly-ish as possible. Basically, you might want to use these in your world whereas some other ones are more extreme and specific. So the next one is the critical effect, you can see right here, which is the Minecraft basic crit particle. And then we've got the basic flame, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Minecraft basic flame particle right there, which is like the torch one. And after this, we've got the sort of smoke particle effect, some basic smoke effect, which is once again, basic smoke particle. A lot of these you could probably guess, but we're just gonna walk through them either way. So here's the Minecraft Bleach one, which is like the villager being angry. After this, we've got a another one to the torch one. We've got the blue torch, or the soul torch, the blue flame particle, which is a very cool one as well, which and can be used if you're trying to make like a cool blue biome or something. The next one is a pretty classical one, lots of people use this one because it just emits all the time. It is the campfire effect. Now you can of course do this with a command and you will see that it will rise up to the skies. Now this might get laggy if you're on a on a bit of a weaker device because well it's 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 spamming at the moment 20 per second, which is which is a lot. The next one is the sort of sponge effect, but this one's actually called the Minecraft Cauldron Explosion Emitter. And is this one right here, which I think is a super cool effect. If you want something to truly look like it's like really evaporating, I think I think that's a very cool effect to use. Next up, we have one of the most useful. It is the crop growth emitter, which is of course from the bone meal. And there is a larger one of these, but once again, we're going over some basics, and you can check out probably an advanced tutorial by me about using these in the future. Then we have the Dragon's Breath, which is unique because it goes upward and kind of also evaporates in a way. So if you want to look like a, you know, cool, mystical kind of look, then this one is the one to use. This next one I've kind of put to just show how powerful some of the other ones are. Once again, these are all kind of basic. 
But here's an example of a little bit of a bigger one where you can see it's a massive explosion happening. Which is super cool. But it's also maybe not something you'll use all the time. However, this one is still a very nice one. I do like this one. It's a little bit of a shame that it's dragging specifically from that point and you can't really choose anything extra. But, you know, it, it looks cool and that's why I included it. Next up is one of my favorites, which is the Ender Chest effect. Now, this one is a sort of slow effect, even when you've got, like, the zero delay in ticks. You can see it just kind of constantly comes down towards something. You can see here that it is called the Minecraft End Chest, and it is a very cool one indeed. Similarly, we have the Minecraft End Rod. That essentially creates this really cool effect, which is also used in stuff like the fireworks, for example. Next up, we have another one from the villagers. It is, of course, the heart, which is a very nice one indeed, and it is just called the heart particle. Now, next up, we have a bit of a honey effect. Now, this one actually makes sounds too, if you listen. Now, of course, this one is a little bit off-center, but you can still choose the specific location, so it shouldn't be that much of a big deal. Next up, we have the lava particle effect, which is probably, like, my favorite one, just because it's so cool if you're trying to make, like, a volcano or something. Next up, we have the notes, which, as you might be able to guess, is the note particle. A lot of these are pretty simple. The, this one right here is a pretty neat little splash, just, and it is called the rain splash particle, which is a pretty neat one, too. The redstone one is also cool, it's got a little bit of a cool like redstone particle of course, it is the redstone or dust particle, so a little bit different there. And then we have the shriek particle, which is this one right here. Now this one looks insane when you've got it on 20 per second, but you can get it pretty cool, and it's the shriek particle just. The next one is the soul particle, which goes upwards as well, very cool indeed, and it is of course just called the soul particle. Now, Minecraft actually recently reset these to make them more accessible, which I do really appreciate. This one is the dripping water, which I typically use when I make something like showers or anything else that looks like it's supposed to be dripping. And then to end it all off, we have the totem effect, which is a very, very neat, cool effect, which kind of creates a little aura almost, which is really awesome in general. I really like this effect as well. So, those are all of the different effects that I personally picked out for this. Like I said, there are a lot more, but this is a basic tutorial, so I'm just showing you the basics of using this command. Now, something to note is that you can't sadly do anything else compared to Minecraft Java Edition. You can just do the particle and then the string, so for example, the Minecraft Bleach, and then the position, and that's about it. You can't do anything else than that. But that is it for the video. I hope you did enjoy, and I do hope that you learned at least one thing from this video. If you did enjoy it, of course, I'm going to tell you to subscribe, but I'm actually going to ask you to also join our Discord, because that is actually a very cool place if you need help with commands, or if you just want to hang out in general. So, with those words... Thanks for watching.